name is Barry. I work for uh, the Freshwater Fishery Society of British Columbia. We're uh, here at Green Timbers in uh, the Surrey area today. We're stocking uh, this lake. We just put a uh, 1,000 Fraser Valley Rainbow, and these fish are triploids that we put in today. Uh, they're about 200 grams, so they're just a just what we call a pan fryer, a catchable size fish. This lake here receives about 5,000 fish annually. Uh, the fish are come from the Fraser Valley Trout Hatchery in Abbotsford, and that's where the brood stock are held on site there. And uh, we keep the fish at the hatchery till they're around 50 gram size. We'll move them out in the summer to the Chehalis Hatchery, way out uh, up uh, the Harrison Mills area there. And we'll they have large uh, raceways there. We grow the fish out to what we so for, the, for the following year to what we call a spring catchable, and then all through, and then a fall catchable as well. So the spring catchables are. We try to aim for around a 250 gram target. These fish here today are around the 200 gram size on average. And by the fall, they'll probably be closer to around, you know, that 300 gram size. Okay, so here at uh, Green Timbers, um, this lake here makes uh, makes for a really nice urban fishery for uh, for the people of uh, the, the Surrey area. It's a high high population, and it gives the kids and and seniors and people who don't have the opportunity to go up country and fish a, a place where they can go and still catch a rainbow trout. Uh, the other thing about these lakes is there isn't a major creek or stream that's flowing in or out, so we don't have a anadromous connection. Now, as I was saying before, these fish are triploided, which means that they, they, they are, they're three end, they do not have any reproductive gametes, and that is just in case there was a way that they did get out or what, they are not able to breed or reproduce with any wild fish. Uh, as far as we know, and uh, we've checked, checked out all these lakes, we do not have any escapement that we can find from these, from these lakes at all. These fish stay into these lakes and provide an excellent angler, angler opportunity for, uh, for a lot of the youth in the area. My name is Jessica Boros and I'm a Visitor Center Coordinator at the Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC. We are at Green Timbers today. Um, the best time to go fishing here would be in the spring and in the fall months. In December, we put in some of our brood stock as well. So those are some of those bigger fish, as we explained to the kids, the mummies and the daddies, of the catchable size trout we put in here. So you've got that chance to get that bigger fish out of Green Timbers here. Now Green Timbers is a great place to go fishing because it is so close to the city. You are right by Guilford Mall. Great access to get in. Now some rules to keep in mind when you're here, you can only keep two rainbow trout per day. You are not allowed to actually wade into the water and no power boats. But luckily with such a small lake, fishing is great from the shore. So to prepare you for coming fishing at Green Timbers, don't forget your license. If you are 16 and older, you do need a freshwater fishing license. Kids 15 and younger do not need a license to come fishing here in Green Timbers. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've got a spinning rod, it works great in here, or even a spin casting rod for the little kids. Uh, bobbers and bait work fantastic in here, but you can also try to stick a lure on there, or maybe a fly as well. on Green Timbers and some of our other urban lakes, you can go to our website, www.gofishbc.com.